A search for old and damaged electronics in the bustling neighborhoods of Kumasi in Ivory Coast's commercial capital, Abidjan. 24-year-old Desiree Kofi comes here to buy used and damaged e-waste for about one US dollar and brings new life into them. My number one goal is to try in my own small way to reduce electronic waste that is found in the streets and in the bins. Here we are in one of the city's most popular neighborhoods where you usually find old phones which can no longer be repaired. The residents here help me a lot because when they have old phones or unusable phones, they call me to come collect them. And that wasn't the case before because you would find these old phones in the drains or find children playing with them which is not good for their health as well. Abidjan has a population of about 5.5 million and it generates 1,500 tons of e-waste annually according to the EU-funded e-waste implementation toolkit. Kofi says a large part of this waste can generate money. At the moment, I'm working with phone screens and keyboards, and I will use all of the rest of them in my painting. I keep everything. I don't throw anything away. I store them away and will work with them later. One of his unique pieces usually takes him about three to five days to create. This is a follow-up to my series, To Save a Child, and this is a portrait of a little girl who is showing her tongue, and I try to express her joy through the colors that I used. Kofi has held several exhibitions at home and abroad, and is rapidly becoming a force to work on with in contemporary arts. Today we talk a lot about recycling and we like the type of work he's doing. But also at the back of that, you get the graphic design aspect of his work. You can see that he is an artist who, despite incorporating recycling materials into his work, he manages to capture all these forms, faces and emotions in his work, which really blew us up. Kofi's paintings go for a minimum of 100,000 CFA franc per piece or 173 US dollars.